Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So far, three problems I have completed in this unit number one. That is journal, ledger and trial balance. Before that, five videos I have uploaded on the theory of this unit number one. Hope my regular viewers have already watched all the theory videos. Be perfect on the concept of uh, journal, ledger, trial balance and financial accounting concepts and conventions. Everything I have explained. Last two videos I have completed three problems. Now in this video, fourth problem I am going to explain. If you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject accounting for management. Select the videos of unit number one. Be perfect on all the concepts, then only you can be able to understand this video. And uh, before starting the fourth video, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written, then I'll explain all the points. Now, see the fourth problem. <clears throat> Enter the following transactions in journal. Post them into ledger and prepare trial balance as on 31st March 2015. So in this problem completely, we have to pass the journal entries, post them into ledger account and then we have to make the trial balance. Now, date March 1st, actually month, year is 2015. March 1st, transactions are given, amounts are given. Now, see the journal entries. Uh, so journal entries, date, particulars, LF, ledger folio, then debit, credit. this is the format as usual, date column 2015, March 1st, Karthik started business with cash, when the owner starts the business, cash is coming in, so cash should be debited, when the owner invests the money, it is called capital, so capital should be credited, the entry will be cash account debtor to capital, Cash account data 30,000 30, to capital 30,000. Narration I am not writing here because unnecessary time will be consumed. So you might be knowing. Narration is simply an explanation of the transactions. So here you should write being the business started with cash. Second, second March purchased goods from Ramesh. When we purchase the goods, purchases account always will be debited and credit will be given to the supplier here the supplier is Ramesh so entry will be purchases account debtor to Ramesh account so here purchases account debtor 50,000 to Ramesh account 50,000 being the goods purchased on credit next third sold goods for cash the business sold the goods and received the cash so cash is coming in Debit cash, cash account debtor to sales. So entry will be cash account debtor 45,000 to sales 45,000, being the goods sold for cash. Next, fifth date. <coughs> paid Ramesh. The business has paid the amount to Ramesh. Cash is going out. So cash should be credited. Who is the receiver? Ramesh is the receiver. So entry will be Ramesh account debtor to cash account. So Ramesh account debtor 20,000 to cash account 20,000. Being cash paid to Ramesh. Next, 10th date. Returned goods to Ramesh. It's a purchase return. Before that we have purchased the goods from Ramesh on 2nd. Now on 10th we are returning some goods back to Ramesh. So Ramesh is the receiver. We are returning and Ramesh is receiving. So entry will be Ramesh account data to purchase return account. A new account is open called purchase return account. We are returning. So Ramesh account data 1000 to purchase return account 1000. Being the goods returned to Ramesh. Next, 12th. Sold goods to Krishnan. It is a credit sale. Sales account will always be credited. To whom we are selling? Krishnan. So entry will be Krishnan account debtor to sales. Krishnan account debtor 3000 to sales 3000. Being the goods sold on credit. Next, 14th date. Bought goods from Shukla. 
bought means purchased so purchased goods from shukla shukla is the supplier so entry will be purchases account debtor to shukla so purchases account debtor to shukla 20000 being the goods purchased on credit next 16th sir krishnan returned goods to goods that means earlier we sold the goods to krishnan now krishnan has returned back the goods it is called sales return it is called sales return the entry will be sales return account debtor to krishnan account the customer is krishnan he has returned goods back to us so sales return account debtor to krishnan sales return account debtor 500 to krishnan account 500 being the goods returned by krishna 19th paid shukla that means the business has paid the amount to shukla so entry will be shukla account debtor to cash cash is going out so shukla account debtor 15000 to cash 15000 being cash paid next one paid rent cash is going out cash should be created rent account debtor to cash the next one paid wages same wages account debtor to cash last one bought stationery stationery account debtor to cash that's all all the transactions we have entered in the journal we have recorded the transaction journal entries we have passed the second step is we have to post the amounts in the ledger accounts in the ledger accounts how to make the posting already in the last video also we have done one problem same method i'm going to adopt here also for posting so one account is debited the other account is credited for every transaction first of all cash account debtor to capital so cash account is debited so debit side to capital how much capital thirty thousand date is 2015 march 1st then capital account should be credited so credit side by cash 30,000 2015 March 1st that's all one transaction we have posted it is asking it is saying cash account data so cash account debit side to capital and capital account should be credited to so credit side by cash 30,000 over first transaction we have posted now second transaction purchases account data to Ramesh the so purchases account debit side to Ramesh to Ramesh how much 50,000 date is second 2015 March 2 Ramesh account is uh, Ramesh sorry purchases account is debited to Ramesh Ramesh account should be credited so Ramesh account credit side by purchases by purchases 50,000 date is 2015 March 1st March 2nd or two entries we have posted third entry is cash account data to sales cash account should be debited to sales to sales 45,000 now the date is third sales account should be credited by cash sales account should be created by cash how much 45,000 date is 3rd March 2015 March 3 that's all so we have posted three entries cash account data debit and sales account credit next Ramesh account debit to cash so Ramesh account should be debited fifth date 2015 March 5 so Ramesh account should be debited to cash how much 20,000 and cash account should be credited to so cash account credit side by Ramesh 20,000 check it is 20,000 now Ramesh account 20,000 yes date is 5th March 2015 March 5 <coughs> over 
So March 5th up to here completed. Now Ramesh account data to purchase return. So Ramesh account should be debited to purchase return. How much? 1000. Date is 10th. So Ramesh account is debited. Purchase return account should be credited. The purchase return credit site by Ramesh. By Ramesh 1000. Date is 2015 March, March 10th. Here also March 10th we have taken. So March 10th completed. Now March 12th, Krishnan account data to sales. So Krishnan account debit side to sales. Krishnan account data to sales. 3000, 12th. 3000 is the amount. Date is 12th, 2015 March 12th. So Krishna account is debited. Sales account should be created. Where is the sales account here? By Krishna. By Krishna. How much? 3000. Date is 12th. 12th date. I'll write down here. 12th date. Next comes uh, 14th. Purchases account data to Shukla. So purchases account debit side to Shukla. Ha, purchase account data to Shukla, 20,000 is the amount and date is 14th. Right? So purchase account is debited, Shukla account should be credited. Shukla account by, uh, by purchases. By purchases. It is 2015. March 14th yes March 14th so purchases account debit side we have taken Shukla 20,000 Shukla account credit side 20,000 that's what March 14th completed now March 16th sales return account data to Krishnan so sales return account debit side to Krishnan this is 16th so 500 and it is March 16. So sales return account is debited. Krishnan account should be created. Krishnan by sales return. It is 500. Date is 2015 March 16th. Over March 16 completed. Next, March 19th, Shukla account data to cash. So, Shukla account debit side to cash. Uh, Shukla account data to cash, 15,000. It is 19th, 2015, March 19. So, Shukla account is debited. Cash account should be created by Shukla. By Shukla, it is 15,000 paid on 19th March that's all so 19th completed 25th rent account data to cash so rent account debit side to cash how much 200 it is 25th 2015 March 25 now cash account should be created by rent it is 200 date is 25th after 25th 28th, wages account data to cash, wages account debit side to cash, cash account credit side by wages. How much amount? 500. Here also wages account 500. Date is what? 28th, so 2015 March 28th. Here also 28th March. Last transaction stationary account data to cash. So stationary account debit side to cash 800 and cash account credit side by stationary 800 it is 30th huh, this is 2015 March 30 30th oh all the transactions I have posted in the accounts now we have to find out the balances balances in every account so here first of all I am beginning with cash <coughs> debit side 30 plus 45 uh, 45,000 it is 75,000 
same 75,000 I am taking here by balance carried down 31st March so from 75,000 minus 20,000 minus 15,000 minus 200 minus 500 minus 800 it comes to 38,500 so same 38,500 I am taking here to balance brought down it is next month 2015 April 1st March completed April started so 38,500 shows debit balance of cash account similarly capital account capital account nothing is there on debit side so same 30,000 I am taking here same 30,000 so here also 30,000 to balance carried down here by balance brought down 30,000 this is April 1 right this is March 31st over capital account is balanced now purchases account purchase account 50 plus 20 70,000 Shukla it is 20,000 so uh, 50 70,000 70,000 here also 70,000 by balance carried down this is March 31st now here to balance brought down 70,000 this is April 1st that's all now Ramesh account Ramesh account credit side it is 50,000 credit side 50,000 now from 50,000 deduct 21,000 so 50,000 minus 21,000 you will get 29,000 so 29,000 is the balance in Ramesh account to balance carried down 31st March by balance brought down 29,000 this is April 1 that's all now sales return account only credit side we have 48,000 here also take same 48,000 48,000 to balance carried down by balance brought down it is 48,000 this is April 1 that's all this is March 31st over now we'll close the purchase return account purchase return account credit side 1000 nothing is there on the debit side same 1000 I am taking here to balance carried down 1000 by balance brought down 1000 this is April 1 this is March 31st over then Krishnan's account debit side it is 3000 and credit side it is 500 so 3000 minus 500 you will get 2500 by balance carried down so to balance brought down it is 2500 this is April 1st this is 31st March or now Shukla's account debit side 15,000 credit side 20,000 so credit side is more 20,000 so 20,000 minus 15,000 you will get 5,000 to balance carried down by balance brought down it is 5,000 April 1st March 31st or sales return account sales return account only debit side we have 500 the same 500 I am taking right so here by balance carried down here debit side to balance brought down 500 right this is April 1st this is March 31st or rent account only debit side 200 same 200 I am taking here 200 here 200 by balance carried down March 31st to balance brought down 200 this is April 1st that's all now next one is wages account 
Which is account only debit side? We have 500. Same 500 I am taking. Here also 500 I am taking. 500 by balance carried down. It is March 31st. Here to balance brought down. It is 500. April 1st. Last and final account, stationary account, debit side 800, same 800 I am taking, 800, here also 800, here also 800 by balance, carried down, March 31st, here to balance, brought down, 800, it is April 1st, that's all, so I have completed the posting. First, we have passed the entries. Second, we have posted all the amounts in the ledger account. Thirdly, it is asking you to make the uh, trial balance. So how to make the trial balance? We will take only balance brought down. Some brought down balances are on debit side and some balances brought down on credit side. So accordingly, we will take first of all cash account brought down balance debit side. So here trial balance is there. Account, debit, credit. So first I am taking cash, cash account. Cash account shows a debit balance of 38500, 38500 debit side. Second account, capital account. So this is the capital account. Capital account is showing credit side by balance brought down, credit side 30,000. So credit column 30,000. Then purchases account, purchases account. It is showing a debit balance of 70,000. 70,000 debit side. After purchase, Ramesh account. Ramesh account. Ramesh account is showing credit side 29,000. So credit column 29,000. Then sales account. Sales account is showing a credit balance of 48,000. So credit column 48,000. Next, after sales, purchase return. Purchase return account. Purchase return account is showing a credit balance of 1,000. Similarly, Krishnan's account. Krishnan's account. Krishnan's account is showing a debit balance of 2,500. So debit side 2,500. Shukla's account. Shukla's account is showing a credit balance of 5,000. Then we have sales return account. Sales return account is showing a debit balance of 500. Sales return account debit side. A rent account debit side 200. Rent account debit side 200. Then wages account debit side 500. Wages account is showing a debit balance of 500. Last one, stationary account. This is the last one. Stationary account. It is showing a debit balance of 800. That's all. We have taken all the account balances, brought down balance. Now we have to find out the total of debit and credit in the trial balance, right? So debit side. 38500 plus 70000 plus 2500 plus 500 plus 200 plus 500 plus 800 it comes to 113000 <coughs> 113000 this is the debit side total now we'll find out the credit side 30000 plus 29000 plus 48000 plus 1,000, plus 5,000, 1 lakh 13,000, 1 lakh 13,000 credit side, 1 lakh 13,000, so both the sides are equal, debit side 1 lakh 13,000, credit side 1 lakh 13,000, that means we have passed the entries, we have posted correctly, if we do not commit any mistake, then the trial balance debit side and credit side will tally, here we got the same. That means we have prepared the accounts correctly. That's all. 
Remember, this passing of entries, posting them in the, into ledger accounts and making trial balance, these are the basic or fundamental steps for accounting subject. Everybody must know it. Every student must know it how to pass the entries, how to post them into ledger account and how to make the trial balance. I have explained each and everything. If you are unable to follow in the first attempt, second time, third time you watch the video, definitely you will get good command. Confidence in yourself you will feel. That's why my suggestion, watch the video completely. Don't skip in between. Inshallah, we'll continue the next problem in the next video. If you, if you are satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video. Share my channel among your friends, among your group, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed. Give your comments. And lastly, buy the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah, we'll continue the next topic in the next video.